Good morning class. Uh, I decided to do my 8 to 12 page research paper on the topic of X-Men and specifically how X-Men correlates with the civil rights movement of the 1960s. Uh, so first I decided to um, shorten my scope down to the original X-Men trilogy uh, directed by Brian Singer and then from there I decided to focus specifically on the first two movies uh, which is X-Men which was released in 2000 and X2 which was released in 2003 um, so and along with that I focus specifically on the two characters of Magneto and Professor X and how they relate to the civil rights activists um, of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, so X-Men was first released, the comic book, the first comic book from X-Men was released in 1963, uh, which would have been at the heart of the Civil Rights Movement. Um, the Civil Rights Act was passed in 1964. Uh, There's a lot of protests during the time, and both of those activists were killed in the next five years. <clears throat> so that was kind of the heat of that time period. This movie, the first movie, was released in 2000. It doesn't necessarily correlate with any civil rights issues, uh, except for the fact that uh, these civil rights issues have been going on since that time and since actually long before that time. So uh, the, the main focus was on these two characters, but also on a lot of the background of the movie. So the background of the movie was uh, a lot of the ideologies that were, that were uh, shown in the movie were the idea that you had these two classes, which were mutants and... Uh, regular humans and the, how they were trying to coexist <clears throat> much like how in the civil rights issues you have Caucasians and African Americans and kind of how they're trying to coexist uh, in the same country in the same uh, regions and there's a lot of opposition against one another uh, and specifically in these two references we're focusing on civil rights activists they're both African American much like how um, the two characters are both mutant, and but they have very different ideologies of how they go about um, with civil rights. You have Malcolm X, who uh, is very against a lot of the practices of the civil rights movement. Uh, he's very against a lot of the um, integration practices. He was a black supremacist, and he focused on the fact that you know people that were African Americans should be uh, segregated from Caucasians uh, because they were better. While uh, Martin Luther King was the exact opposite. He was an, he was pro integration and he was anti segregation. He uh, focused a lot on integrating uh, black and white people into the same communities, into the same organizations into the same schools uh, and just uh, and he his big focus was on uh, peaceful protesting which correlates a lot with the way Professor X operated um, and it was very against the way Magneto and Malcolm X uh, professed their ideologies so um, some focus things on Malcolm X and Magneto they were both born in oppressed classes. Um, of course, Malcolm X was born as an African American, uh, and he, both of his parents died in an early age, much like how Magneto was born uh, as a, a German Jew, and both of his parents died during the Holocaust. So, you have a lot of these correlations. They were both able to generate large followings, um, and they're their disciples were very um, adamant towards their f philosophies and ideologies. <clears throat> uh, on the other hand, you have Martin Luther King uh, and Xavier, who they were also able to uh, bring strong crowds in, uh, but they were peaceful protesters. Uh, they were actually, uh, they're considerably better upbringings for both of them. Uh, and the main aspect of those of these two characters is that they uh, had a strong desire to help people as opposed to um, inciting violence. 
you have Professor X who starts the School for Gifted Youngsters while um, Martin Luther King Jr. went to missionary school to become a missionary and eventually became a reverend. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of also a, a lot of political uh, references in X Men to the civil rights movement, uh, and especially in the beginning of X Two. If you ever focus on the first 15 minutes or so, uh, there's a lot of exposition for um, Abraham Lincoln and John F Kennedy, who are considered to be the two uh, most civil rights activist presidents in American history. So there's a lot to there's a lot to say about the civil rights movement in these two movies, um, and uh, there's also a lot to say about the connections between uh, Malcolm X and Magneto, as well as Professor Xavier and uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you.